Hey child, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm tired of looking like a cabbage patch doll underneath here, so it's time to get my hair together. So my big homies at my first wig sent me a unit. First of all, shout out to them for sponsoring this video because y'all know what sponsorships I get. Donations, donations, gifts. Purred, and we ain't never tired of donations. My homies at my first wig sent me another headband wig. Now, originally I was done with headband wigs, but here's the thing, I started working out intensely. And my washing goals do not last, and so I've been wearing wigs and braids all summer long. Sometimes, you know, a little ponytail, sprinkle lace, some razzle dazzle. They sent me a headband wig, and so I don't wanna do a regular, regular, smegular headband wig video. I saw Miss Naturally Mary do this method where she hid the headband, I was like, oh, that's cute. So we're getting ready to try it. So either this is gonna be cute or this is gonna be a flop, but either way, I already got my check. Hey, child. started so again this is a my first wig headband wig unit they are one of my favorite companies period because their hair is beautiful as far as the actual specifics of this wig this one is their 18 inch unit it has 100 malaysian hair this is the texture it's more of a natural looking texture versus the looser curly one uh, but they do have other textures which you all have seen me debut as well um, in addition to it being 18 inch and 100 virgin hair this is their their natural color and this is what it looks like on the inside for security they do have these combs right here and of course it got the, the you know got the little headband or whatever because it's a headband wig in addition to the unit you do get a storage bag if you want to keep it safe which you should honey I just be throwing my wigs in the closet but anyway they give you some examples of headbands so here's one right here well this is cute and I like that this is thicker because like I said sometimes the headbands they be thick 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 then they do have the regular cloth headband that you kind of just slap around the neck do one of these numbers right here and in addition to that they sent a wig cap and then they do also have like little utensils and things that you can use to take care of your hair like they do have clips available as well as rat tail combs and these are one of my favorite combs because it got this little metal thing right here now i did all the talking let's go ahead and put this unit on all right so you know looking a little crazy but we're gonna put it on together so we're gonna start with a half up half down just you know put this out the way the back is twisted up so just take a wig cap put it on the back and what I am going to do, and again, this was inspired by Miss Naturally Mary, I am going to fold the headband into the wig. And what you'll see is underneath the fold, there are some combs. So I'm basically turning into a half wig. So stick that in the back and I'm going to use these two combs and attach the unit to my hair. I'm gonna do the same on the side. And then there's also a comb in the back. So there it is, the unit is completely attached now let's get this top together because we looking real interesting honey all right so from here i'm gonna take this little doodle ball down honey and i'm gonna put some wet line y'all know how i mean wet line is so i'm gonna go ahead and put that right here right just to kind of just mold my hair i wish i had a bristle brush i need one but you know we got to make do and i'm going to brush the gel into my hair Chill. All right, so once that is done, I'm going to grab some hair from the unit and bring it upward towards the ponytail, creating a half up, half down look. Honey. All right, so once you got your placement ready, go ahead and put on a good old ponytail holder, honey. Then I'm gonna take my ponytail that's sticking out and I'm going to wrap it around the base of this. Honey, if it'll come out. Sorry guys. So I'm gonna take my ponytail and wrap it around the base of this whole situation. And it's looking real interesting, but listen to me, listen. Trust the process. All right, and from there, I'm actually going to apply some more gel to the base just to make sure it's good. So I'm just brush up like this. And this will be the point where you do your edges and anything like that. I don't really do that, honey. Mother, girl, I ain't got time for all that. 
So that's where I'm going to take a cloth and just kind of mold this down just to make it lay flat because if I don't, it's gonna be looking crazy, chef. So let's go ahead and do that now. And while I'm letting this mold and dry, I'm just gonna run through my hair with my fingers just to give it some more volume because I don't like it looking too uniform, especially because it's short. Now, this is just me shooting the teeth straight. I'm not a short wig person. I'm not, I'm not, okay? They sent this one to me. If I had a choice, it would be long down to my booty, but I'm gonna make it do what it do. So let's go ahead and fluff these curls out. All right, so I done did all the fluffing I'm gonna do. So let me get under the dryer just to make this speed on up because ain't nobody got time for it to air dry all day. Yeah. I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and do the final steps with you all. All right, so we should be dry, hopefully. If it's not, I'm still taking it off. So let's go here. Yes, I'm loose here. Uh-huh. This face is sitting. All right, so let's go ahead and remove this the rest of the way and fluff this out how I want it to sit, yes. And as an up close view, I'm, I know I'm like right up in your face, honey. But this is what it is looking like. So we got one more thing to do, which is to go ahead and cover this up. So I'm gonna reach to the back of the ponytail and pull some hair out. I'm actually taking from the bottom half, honey. And I'm going to wrap this around that to cover it. And then I'm going to shift this. Actually, let me switch to my other mirror. I'm gonna come back and show you the final result in five, four, three, two. And here is the final look. The headband, not visible. The webs, yeah, can't see it, don't know it, never heard of it. Let me turn around, let you see the back, yes. Now, as a styling tip, number one, make sure if you do this kind of like as a half wig, that you pull the straps kind of tight in the back so that it's feeling a little snug to your scalp. And then, in addition to that, I did go ahead and use jumbo pins as well because the last thing I need is for my body to be over here and then the wig over there and then I'm out here embarrassed looking crazy. And then, of course, if you want to just slap your headband on, do your edges, go about your business, that's an option too. If you look at my vlogs, you see I do that on a regular basis. I just, you listen, ain't nobody got something to do with doing hair. I'm trying to live my life. But the whole point in this video is headband wigs don't have to be monotonous. You can wear it just as simple as a headband or you can turn that mug into whatever you want it to be and style it however you so see fit. I feel like my inner lioness is coming out. You know it's Leo season so shout out to y'all out there. And one last thing before I get you on out of here. As far as the maintenance of the wigs. All the wigs I've ever shown you from my first wigs are like top notch when it comes to washing it. Um, just use your favorite co-wash. I would not use a harsh shampoo or anything like that. The one that I've been sticking to is As I Am Classic. As far as cleaning it, just run it under the bathtub, let the water hit it, take a little bit of co-wash, put it on there. Do not do any scrubbing like that because you'll cause tangle. Just put some on there and gently rake your fingers through it, but don't pull too hard because no matter how great the construction is, a wig is a wig. And if you do all of this, you're gonna yank out the hair. So yeah, just co-wash it, lay it flat to dry, and then once it's dry take you a little bit of mousse do cup pumps like that and then just you know go ahead and do like one of these numbers break it through just to scrunch up the curls i'm getting ready to go out so i ain't gonna watch my wig for you if you want to see that go to some of my other first wig videos and you will see how i thoroughly cleanse my wigs so with that being said i have revved on enough if y'all have any questions leave them down below shout out to my first wig for sponsoring this video they are actually having an anniversary sale check out the description box you'll see all the information about the sale shout out to my first wigs and happy anniversary to y'all and if y'all looking for a unit whether it be just for headband and you want to do a little scoop to loop and put your little ponytail up in there you have the option to make it look as natural as you want so yeah that's in this video i ain't got nothing to say bye honey.